Elongus Dongus has been waiting for you, and you finally arrived. All right, guys, you know what to do. Sit down and shut up. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. So first off, we've leveled up the clan too. We can get another workshop. And don't forget, in the last episode, we built a caravan. So our finances should be rising like a Longus Dongus is rising in rank. So yeah, that's going to be the first thing I do. I'm going to build another workshop. I'm actually going to build this one way away from our homeland and put it in Pen Kanak. And in there, I'm going to put a pottery shop. Oh man, first off, we just captured a bunch of enemy uh, lords and look how much money we're making. A thousand gold. All right, we made it to Pen Kanak. And uh, we'll go ahead and enter the city and build our pottery shop. Ah, here we are. Isn't this just beautiful? Man, the builders in Britannia are so, just so shit. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I mean, it is, I do like the Britannian culture. It does give me like some Skyrim vibes. But then there's parts like this. Again, it's still charming. It's got this like slum charm, but like, look at that tower over there. Like how long has that been destroyed? Like when are you gonna fix that Britannian? Oh, look. Pigs. So we've made it to the workshop and I just love how you can enter these work workshops and literally talk to anyone. It's like, hey, bro, I'd like to buy your business. He's like, bro, I just work here. Pottery shop. Yes, indeed. All right. Our third workshop is in place. We are going to make so much money. So what's the whole point of having a nice passive income? It's to build mighty armies and that's especially important right now because our capital is under siege i don't think the enemy is going to take it but we should go back home and build an army worthy of uh, kuzate land uh, because uh, we are under attack and things are getting a little desperate over there we're kind of losing some territory Hey, look at that. We gained a level. Let's do tactics. Let's improve our tactics. Oh, we just won a big battle right there. Look at that. We just captured a bunch of Southern Empire Lords. I think that was at the siege. Yep, that, yep that's exactly what happened. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, Arino. All right, home sweet home. So it always feels nice to be, you know, in friendly territory. So now that we're here, we need to go ahead and recruit as many horse archers as possible. And I am gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna max out my army because I kind of like having less troops to uh, kind of earn more renown for defeating bigger armies. I just need a very effective force, not necessarily a huge force. And in terms of army composition, I'm still sticking with horse archers. I will eventually get like shock cav or lancer cav, but for right now, I'm gonna stick with just horse archers. It seems to be very effective. Once they get a little bit bigger, I think having a more diverse army is gonna be a little bit better. You know, just having some melee cav in there. I'm still going all cav, of course, but just having some melee cav in the mix is gonna help deal with uh, enemy archers and whatnot. Oh no, our spice vendor, our caravan was captured. Uh, this is why I hate caravans. They make a lot of money, but they do get captured and it can be annoying. Okay, so we got our army up to 60. That's pretty good. It's all horse archers. I think there's a couple like normal archers and infantry that I've got mixed in there, but it's mostly horse archers. So now we're going to head over to enemy territory. I'm not even going to join any armies. I'm not even going to fight in any big battles. I'm just going to go over there and look for enemy lords to defeat in battle and set free. Again, remember, we're trying to build up our charm so in the future we can charm a bunch of enemy lords to join us. Here we go, 91. Let's take them on. And they should confront us. 91 is fairly large, but look at the bounce of power. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, all things considered. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Because we have so many horse archers now, I'm actually going to put them in three groups. So I'm going to make another horse archer group and try to balance it. That looks wonderful. Are they going to come to us? Okay. Mountain! Let's go ahead and post up some archers there and let's get another group we'll leave them in the center the final horse archer group you post up like so oh whoa hey whoa whoa straight up charging into me kill him there we go i'll deal with these guys in the back all right, horse archers. Horse archers! 
Sergeants, four follow the sergeants. Delegate, delegate, delegate. Run around, do stuff. Get some easy kills. Oh yeah, get these archers. Always a big threat to my horse archers. I'm going off like it's Donkey Kong, guys. See ya. See ya. Oh, there's the enemy lord. Epic battle between the lords. Your armor might be nicer than mine. But you have no heart. I'm just going off, man. Look at them all break. So let me know down in the comments below. Like, I'm still learning the ways of the horse archer. What is the best way to control these guys? I mean, I think so far they're doing okay. Like, having them in multiple groups seems pretty solid. Uh, they can be a little crazy at times and run straight into infantry. Even when you delegate them. Delegate them. All right, so all that's left is the enemy lord, and she's not willing to surrender. Got to give her that. There we go. <laughs> Come on, guys. Trample on her. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, and just like that, we earned 11 renown. That's so easy. And 23 influence. And we will be merciful because, again, I want to gain some charm. We also gained a bunch of prisoners as well. I'm not interested in these prisoners. I will gladly take as many as I can and just kind of donate them. We also have a lot of leveling up to do here. Oh my gosh, look at all this loot. We also leveled up as well. Oh, wait, hey, the healer getting some riding skills to make you nimble speed. So I'm going to head back to friendly territory and kind of lick my loot, lick my wounds, <laughs> my loons. What's a loon? I'm going to lick my wounds here and heal up and let the wounded heal up as well. We did lose a couple troops there, but it really wasn't a big deal. And that was a pretty successful battle. I also want to try to find the king or the Khan of uh, Kuzate land here, because what I want to do is just become a vassal well apparently uh he's located somewhere around this castle i went ahead and looked for is he in this army okay no i don't think he's in this army maybe he's in the castle oh oh he's just chilling over here oh we got a big battle here you guys are absolutely screwed i'm gonna wait a little bit there we go all right let's enter the fight and just, you know, get some brownie points fighting with these lords. Oof. Look at this army, dude. Look at this army. So I think in this battle, I'm going to take this a little... I'm going to approach it a little bit differently. I'm just going to tell the horse archers to follow me. That way, we kind of stay away from the major fighting and just get as many kills from afar. So at this point, my army is only consisting of horse archers. It appears that my infantry and my normal archers all got slaughtered in that previous battle. Oh, yeah. Look at the lads. Look at the lads, the squad going out for battle. Let's go, horse archers. Let's kick some ass. So the enemy is taking a defensive position. They've got some infantry up on the hill, but they do have their cav on the flanks. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of circle around with my my cav as well. I'm not going to fully engage. I'm just going to circle around, avoid any unnecessary casualties. Got some infantry here. I think he was... Oh, there we go. Yeah, he got... I think his horse died or he got knocked off his horse. We got some enemy cab we could easily take care of as well. So I'm going to close it. Oh my gosh. Look at all the arrows. Oh my gosh, dude. Could you imagine being these guys? That would suck. Now this is where the fun begins. We just ride around and shoot at this circle formation. Oh, and we should probably kill this cab over here too. I got to be careful. My cab is uh, getting attacked by enemy cab. Oh, when you're couching in the same direction, you don't do a lot of damage. Rightfully so. It makes sense. Okay. Ow. That, that, that hurt. All right. Let's not get too close to the infantry. All right. This is a lot of horse archers and we are absolutely melting their army with bear. Oh my God. Fall back. Go back. Please don't, don't get attacked. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. All right. We got some horse archers spawning from their side. Honestly, they probably should have started with horse archers. So again, I'm just going after, you know, small groups of enemies. I'm not trying to get involved with the big fight. I'm just kind of helping out the enemy lords where I can and preventing any unnecessary casualties. Oh, we got some enemy archers way out of position. Oh, good shot. Was that an enemy looter? 
they recruit a looter and he's throwing potatoes at me now? Oh, and they got me, bro. Wow. Wow, so stupid. Well, that's not good. That means the AI is taking over our forces, but by the looks of this, uh, the battle should be almost over. We should be spawning in reinforcements soon. And sure enough, as this battle progresses, it is becoming quite the beating. Now, I probably, yep, I lost seven men. That sucks. There we go, 1.5 renown. It's because it, we heavily outnumbered the enemy. What's really good about this is that we are gaining respect amongst our fellow uh, Kuzates, which is gonna really help us out in the future. So a much needed victory there. Kind of puts the empire off of our backs there. Oh, there he is, there he is, okay. Hello, come here, come here, stop running away. I wish to be more than a mercenary. You're known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of men. Elongus, I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service. If we, oh, yes. Well, there we go, guys. There we go. Uh, we are now officially... We are now officially a vassal of the Kuzates. And he even rewarded us with some troops. Some really good troops, too. And I will gladly accept them. That is awesome. Oh, and a step worse. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I, I this is new. Let it be known that you are adopted into the Kuzate Confederacy. Oh, we're a confederacy. That's pretty cool. And you shall be considered of the ancestry of the 12 sons of the She-Wolf. Look, bro, I, I don't really care. You may sit on our council of war in peace. We shall ride to defend our flocks and avenge your blood if you fall. Your herds may graze in our lands and drink from our springs. That's pretty cool that we get those little gifts. It's going to make my betrayal of him uh, that much more sadder. Well, since we got severely wounded in the last battle, I'm just going to spend some time to recruit some troops again and heal up. Oh my gosh, all this loot that we've gained from beating the uh, the Empire troops, we got some cool stuff. I'm actually, I'm actually going to give my companion a, a shield and... Look at that, 7,000, 7,000. Look at all the weapons we have as well. We're going to make so much money. All right, it ends up being 9,000 gold. This castle over here is still... Oh, no, we're sieging the castle. You know what? I'm going to join this battle. I'm going to join the battle and try to... Eventually, I want to get my own territory. So that's why I became a vassal. I need to start collecting castles and cities. Also, we leveled up with charm. Let's see what we can unlock here. So I'm gonna go with forgiver, forgiver, for, forgive, forgivable. So I'm gonna go with forgivable grievances. This gives us a 20% chance to avoid persuasion critical failure. So while waiting for the siege battle to begin, we just got a notification about making peace with the Southern Empire. We will gain a lot of gold from it. It appears everybody wants peace. We are currently winning the war. We abstain. There we go. Nice. All right, so it's official, guys. We have made peace. And because of that, we are now making... Let's see, we got plus 14 tribute from the Sturgeons. So we won that war. Tribute from Azurai plus 9. And tribute from the Southern Empire is plus 103. Woo! We are winning wars after wars. It doesn't feel like it because... I don't know, our, our, we haven't really gained any territory. We need to change that. And unfortunately, we're gonna be in a time of peace. What I'm gonna do during this time of peace is just max out my army and just kind of wait for the next war. Oh, I just remembered our uh, caravan was destroyed. So we can probably set that up now that we are at peace. And it looks like she's staying at uh, Chaka Khan. All right, here we are. Okay, let's go ahead and get her back into the party. So my memory is a little fuzzy on this. Do I have to pay for the caravan again? That's kind of annoying. Like, I wish there was some sort of insurance policy. But I guess we'll just... Uh, I don't know if it matters who we talk to. I guess we'll just talk to this guy and set up a new caravan. Okay, there we go. The caravan is back in business. I think it will be worth it over the long run as long as she doesn't get destroyed again super quickly. But since we're at peace, there's going to be a lot less enemies and, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot less risk. Oh, and I completely forgot that we have all those Empire prisoners. Just to kind of get some brownie points with the other lords, I'm going to go to the keep here and I'm going to donate prisoners. 
just gonna donate them all um because i don't really want any of these guys so we'll gain one renown really or influence that's it we'll gain one for all of this okay so i've gotten my army to full strength we're at 79 out of 79 we're still at peace and we're making good money uh our caravan is starting to make decent money i guess instead of just kind of sitting here waiting for another war to happen which, you know, maybe we can kind of influence that. I don't know. I don't know. No, we, you really shouldn't attack farms or anything like that of uh, other factions. Because what happens is that everyone will start to hate you. So I'm not going to do that. We just got to wait for a war. And while we, while we wait, I'm going to build another caravan. Not only are we going to find new characters for caravans, I think I'm also going to find new warriors. Now, we got Sacha the Alone. I believe she's Kuzate. Yeah, she's Kuzate. And she's really good at scouting and bow. So, I'm just going to make her a sub commander in the army. And she is located in Xenoka. So, we need to go over there and quickly find her. All right, we finally made it. Let's see if she's still here. And nope. She left. Okay, so apparently she's now in this city over here. So let's go ahead and uh, try to try to catch up to her. Uh, am I am I going crazy here, or is this an enemy Kuzate? So he must be like a mercenary. Yeah, he's got to be a mercenary fighting for someone. I don't know. This is weird, but we're gonna kill him anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the horse archers do their thing. We got 77 horse archers in three different groups. Oh, they've got a pretty sizable army. Pretty scary army, not really. I was expecting more horses being Kuzates and whatnot. So I'll go ahead and deal with these enemy horse archers. There you go. Oh, that's the that's the faction leader. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this main fight. Oh, jeez. Gotta watch out for these crossbows. Horse archers are doing a good job. They're keeping their distance. I don't know where they're going. Like, they're kind of going a little too far away. But, like, hey, guys, just go go fight. Like, where are they running to? Where are you going? Here, okay. Just follow me into battle, guys. You don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bow here and just kind of do some pop shots. All right. My guys are way behind, and I don't want them to run into the infantry. So we're going to head back here. Come on, give them hell. We could probably fight them in melee. We, we heavily outnumber them. Yeah, chase them. Come on, kill their calf. All right, they're starting to send their calf into my calf. It is a it is a risk because they're much better fighters in close combat than my guys. So I'm going to tell them to go ahead and follow your sergeants because we are losing a couple troops here and there. I'm going to go run down and kill these archers over here. Oh, get them, horse archers. Get them. Oh, look at them charging in. All right. Well done. Wow, I lost 10 guys. Kind of ridiculous. And sure enough, I'm going to let them go free. And our charm is already at 89. So let's see what we can level up. Oh, we can improve our polearm. Clean thrust. Do 10% more damage with polearms by thrusting the polearm. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, right. I almost forgot the whole reason we're over here and that's because we're looking for another warrior to join our ranks so now that we're here let's hope she's in the tavern yes okay perfect oh a thousand six hundred well a little pricey but that's okay we got the money well now that she's in the army we can go ahead and make her the scout and that's going to greatly improve our our scouting capabilities i think the last one we need is an engineer so maybe we should just look for an engineer that's going to help us like build siege equipment much faster and then we're gonna have the whole team here also we need to make sure she's on horseback which she is but she doesn't have a bow so i think what i'm gonna do is just give her these and buy her a cheap bow oh man look at this guy volra Vol 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 i don't know how to pronounce his name but he's a tracker he's actually really really good look at go with the crossbow is athletic his scouting is amazing you know what i'm gonna do with this guy oh my god he's really good this dude is really good at a lot of things i might get him in the army and make him the new scout and i'll make that other girl that we hired 
just be a like a traitor or something I, or he can lead his own army that would be cool too wow he's located all the way in the north with the sturgeon so i'm gonna try to catch up to him and find him before he moves Oof! after a very long journey we're finally here let's hope he's here and no we've got this iron belly guy who uh i don't know he kind of sucks so so now he's located in Barcheg, which is, uh, yeah, it's pretty far away, but it's not too far. We should be able to catch up with him and, and finally uh, recruit him. All right, Varcheg, the capital of the Sturgeons, and he's not there. Dude, this this guy doesn't, whatever, he doesn't like to stay in one place. Okay, I'm just gonna scream. Bruh, this guy is now in, he's now in Batanian territory. This guy's pissing me off. Okay, we finally made it. Now, please, finally. Let's talk to the lad. You know, for being so skilled, he really is kind of like a dopey looking guy. Wow, and he's only 400 gold? Is this the same guy? Yeah, this is it. Why is he so cheap? So again, looking at his stats, he is very skilled at a lot of different uh, things. I mean, two-handed, polearm, bow, crossbow, riding, scouting. Like he's really good. If we compare that to her, She's not nearly as good. So we'll go ahead and change out the scout to him. Literally, he has nothing. And honestly, now that I think about it, here, let's give him a horse at least. And here's a saddle. I would like to give him a bow. Okay, well, it's not much of a bow, but we're gonna get him a hunting bow. And then we'll get him some cheap arrows. He's literally gonna do nothing with that, um, but he's good with the bow. The thing is I'm saving my money because I wanna build another caravan. So I'm not gonna buy, I mean, we could buy him a really nice expensive bow, but I'll, I'll do that later. Once I start making more money, I'll do that later. And also hopefully we can get some more battles going so we can get more loot and we can just get some free upgrades for his armor and whatnot. All right, so the final piece to the puzzle we need to find a big brain companion, okay? Something with a lot, someone with a big wrinkly brain. I searched through all these companions. I think the, the greatest one, the best one right now through this entire list uh, in terms of engineering is Hakur. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's got 80 engineering. There's another engineering guy who had like 60. So this guy is clearly the best for engineering. So we're gonna go ahead and find him. And hey, look at that, he's in our homeland. <sighs> and of course, he's not here. He moves somewhere else. Yo! Oh my gosh, vote for declaring war on the Sturgeons. Yes! Okay, uh, yes. I will abstain because there's plenty of people voting for it. Yes! Okay, we are at war with the Sturgeons. That is great because I want to take some settlements here. We gotta move quickly because I wanna hire this guy. Oh, this is so good. I, you know, honestly, I was like, come on, guys. When are we going to war? I'm getting all these new companions. This is going to be perfect. All right, he's going to cost 488 gold. Not too bad. And I'm pretty sure if we look at our clan, we maxed out. Look at this squad. This is a squad of winners here. Oh, my God. So now that we've added him to engineer, we've got every role checked off. And overall, our party is going to be going to be pretty powerful also the only thing we need to get them is uh bow and arrows all right we made it we're in enemy territory now we just need to go search for enemy lords also guys they're they're we are sieging one of their uh castles so we we are hitting them pretty hard oh here we go here we go hello hello what are you sitting there doing nothing for oh you you're facing me really you're gonna come and face me? Well, my army is only slightly stronger than yours, so I guess I should be kind of afraid. Against the Sturgy, oh, they have a lot of Cav. Okay, that might be a problem. Dude, that's a problem right there. We gotta kill this Cav. They also have like Javis and stuff. I don't know. I just hope that the, the Sturgians are not the Kuzay killers. Well, we dealt with most of their cab. They just kind of charged in to my horse archers and kind of did nothing. I mean, they killed a decent amount of my horse archers. We are taking some some unwanted casualties. The battle started off pretty rough, but now it's going very well. So I'm just going to run down and 
kill these horse art or I'm not the horse art. I'm gonna kill these archers. All right, Sturgeons, it's time for you to learn a lesson. All right, the archers have been slain. And now all they have are infantry. So we're just gonna sit back and shoot at them. Point blank style. Your big shields won't last forever. Yep, and that's how we do it, guys. And that's how we do it. Victory! We lost 11 soldiers there. Uh, it's more, it's our weaker soldiers that kind of died. These are like our weaker horse archers, so it's to be expected. But look at that, 14 renown, 29 influence. And of course, we're going to let you go free. And our, our charm is almost at 93. Gained a bunch of prisoners, gained a bunch of loot. And now with all this loot, what I'm going to do is go ahead and upgrade our companions with the new loot and just over time slowly make them better. And of course, guys, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our troops. Awesome. A great battle, a much needed battle. And I will, uh, I'll continue to kind of survey the area and look for more enemy lords. I might join this siege battle. I'm not going to join the army, but I'll wait until they're attacking the, uh, the settlement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Hold on. Cancel that. We've got enemy lord. Enemy lord. We're moving for him right now on hot pursuit. Oh, pull over. Pull over. Oh, we're too fast for him. Okay. Uh, the armies are perfectly balanced and the balance of power is uh perfectly balanced okay this should be interesting all right same strat as always it looks like they're heavy on infantry so that's actually pretty good we're just gonna run around and shoot at them i hope all right so we sent the horse archers out focus like keep your distance and i'm gonna focus their cav which is the only one cav unit and then i'm gonna focus their archers which they're leaving open to attack oh don't you throw nothing at me look at him he's like eh, i'm getting ready to throw I'm getting ready to throw. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. We're getting focused down by horse. Wait, why isn't everybody going? Okay, so we have a bunch of horse archers that I guess I didn't send forward. I thought I did, but guys, you're just letting your your comrades die up there. Please get up there and support this battle. Okay, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Well, guys, this battle is going very smoothly. It actually just ended and horse, horse archer strat too strong. And sir, you are free to go. There you go. Our charm is almost at a hundred. We also have a bunch of loot and we're actually carrying too much more than we, we can hold. Look how slow we're going. So what we have to do is just go back to friendly, uh, a friendly city and sell our loot and uh, I'll probably recruit some new soldiers as well and get back into the fight. Woof, 11,000 off of that loot, that's nice. Okay, it looks like they are attacking the siege. We've gotten our army strength back up to 61. I'm gonna go ahead and join the siege and help them out. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like attack too aggressively here. Uh, unless we absolutely have to send in my men to win the battle. I really want to start taking some territory. Who knows? This might be our very first castle we get to control. So I'll just tell everyone to stay way in the back. And then we're going to ride up here. This is our first siege battle, guys. Oh my gosh, look at all this artillery. Oh no. All right, well, it's not my men who are going to be dying. That's for sure. Ow. Oh man, we're low on health. And it's really important I don't die here because if I die, my troops will just like charge in. So I need to be very careful. I'm not pushing my luck and I'm just taking shots that I know I can easily make. Oh yeah. Ooh, that guy almost got me twice now. Well, I'm out of arrows, and after all those shots, we killed 15. 
17. I also made a mistake. I should have uh, brought a, a sword or like anything other than a spear or a pike. All right, there we go. The siege towers are in place. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to join uh, the ram and just kind of stab from the back. And once we... Oh, yeah. The siege battles seem to be performing way better now. I always kind of dreaded siege battles in this game because they just were so funky and goofy. All right, charge, boys. Charge. Oh, oh geez watch out for the rocks oh boy we might need some reinforcements over here well with my weapon i'm not really able to do any kind of attacking from the back i mean i'm, I'm trying there we go we're starting to push them back oh there we go get in boys yeah we got them on the run boys uh i could i could pick up a sword here we go though the battle's pretty much over I could make this my home. I'm not really a fan of winter wonderlands, winter winter wastelands, more like it. But you know, I you know, I'll live with it. It's my first my first place. I like it. I like it. Well, let's see if we can get lucky and we can actually get the castle for ourselves. All right, battle finished. We got it. I think a couple of yeah, they retreated to the keep. Well, unfortunately, we're too wounded to go in. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just send in the troops. Hopefully, we don't lose any. Oh yes, nobody got hurt. Beautiful, nice. So we were a part of that. My name is Elongus. So cool. We uh, we took the castle, and uh, we're gonna continue to do what we always do, which is hunt down enemy lords. We do have. Uh, hey, this is the guy we hunt down earlier. Let's go. Let's go face him again. Oh, you got a stronger force this time. Not really. My army's actually stronger, even though you have 15 more. Longus, I think your luck has run out. Oh. oh, no. I completely forgot. I'm injured. And I can't... Okay, please win. Wow, okay. We won the battle, but at what cost? We lost five cons guard. That really sucks. Okay, I need to pay more attention. This is not good. All right, you're free to go. My charm is now 101. Well, ah, wow, we barely won that battle. Okay, I need to get to friendly territory pronto. Uh, that was a big mistake that cost us a lot. We lost a ton of great men. Ah, that's such a bummer. Thankfully, I still have like 20 plus troops. Oh, we're voting for the castle. I think Alongus should have it. No, he sucks. What? <laughs> Alongus is cool. All right. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to get the castle, but eventually, guys, we'll have our our, our time in the sun. Our, our, time, our time to shine is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, we're just going to head back and uh, recruit some troops and get our army up to health. We also need to sell all this loot that we got um, from the battle we won. So, we definitely need to get get going on that oh hey our charm uh leveled up so it's at 101 now and let's see what our options are um these are pretty much the same so we can either increase our relationship gain with uh, the same gender or the opposite gender i'll just do young and respectful just do the same gender very nice Seven thousand from the loot that we captured so it, it kind of makes up for it really doesn't make up for all that we lost in terms of troops. Now we're going to be kind of set back a little bit, and I need to spend some time just recruiting as much as possible. Well, we got our army back up to 62, and there's an enemy lord in our territory. This is just too good to not go after. There we go. It's going to be a bit of a night battle. Wow, really? His army is that much stronger than mine. All right, uh, I'm going to let him go. Uh, I'm actually going to let him go. One, because I don't want to fight in a night battle, and two, he's strong. So, if it was a day battle, maybe, but I need to just keep recruiting more troops. I might, you know what, I'm gonna, I think this is good. I think this is good. I don't want to, I don't want to waste too much time running around. Let's just get in there and start hunting lords again. Oh, wait, you know what, I keep forgetting about my prisoners. We need to go back and sell the prisoners that I have. Okay, here we go. Oh, 39? Yes. You have just stumbled. You just went the wrong way, buddy. Oh, yeah. I am a longus, and you must fight. So I've started to recruit uh, some melee cav. For now, I'm just going to make him my personal bodyguard. So I'm just going to have him follow me. All right, guys. Oh, we're fighting near a town. Oh, that makes things a bit more challenging for my horse archers. 
It's just not very open. Okay. <laughs> I thought I could jump over that. I'm gonna focus down these archers. Oh, they're doing a considerable amount of damage to me. Ow. Yeah, this is not ideal for my troops. Something I gotta watch out for in the future. Do not chase down enemy lords near the village. But even though this is not going exactly well, we're still kind of destroying the enemy. Thank goodness he had a small army. This would be much more challenging with a larger army. Oh my gosh, I got shot. Well, battle's almost over. The only thing that's bad is I'm gonna be wounded again. So I'm gonna have to stay put a little bit. I really need to be a bit more cautious when I'm fighting because it does hinder us oh, quite a bit because I'm not able to join the battle and because I've it did, uh, blah, 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 blah. and you are free to go ma'am well there's no reason to be near the front line I'm just gonna go back and once again recruits until we're uh, healed up again and our army is back to full strength. Ah, uh, guys, tragic news, tragic news. They're voting on peace with Sturgia. Uh, our kingdom will receive 3,350 tribute. I, I, yeah, I assumed everybody was gonna take it. I was only just getting started. Look at all the money we made, 35K, 131 influence. I was hoping I was gonna get a settlement here. Well, since we're at peace and we're at about 40k gold, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speak to one of the townsfolk to build another caravan. And that caravan is going to be uh, Satcha, who's the tracker who's not as good as Varad did, Var Vo Vorad the tracker. So, yeah, I'm going to make her run a caravan. That should help us make more money. And tragically enough, guys, since we don't have any settlements yet and there's no war going on, there's not much to do except for recruit soldiers and get our army back to uh, full strength. I'm not going to show it on screen, but if I see any looters, I'm just going to send my army after to go kill them so they can gain some experience during peacetime. So I've gotten my army all the way up to full strength. It's at 80. I feel like I've done everything I could during peacetime. I've ran down looters. Uh, I'm just, I, I don't know. There's not much to do right now. I noticed though that we are having to pay the Northern Empire 2,950 tribute per day. I'm curious if we uh, could propose, oh, we don't have enough inf oh, we need 200 influence to propose war. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe over time we can, someone will propose a war against the Northern Empire. And just like that, I, you know what? I'm going to leave that little, that silent, no commentary space just to show how quickly that, that, that is just, the timing is just perfect. And yes, of course, I'm going to vote yes. I really want to make sure, you know, I, I think that's enough. We should, yes, okay, boom. Northern Empire, we're at war. Let's go. I would love to have some territory in the Northern Empire area. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can, you think we could get a castle by ourselves? Probably not because we mostly just have archers. Like, what I should do once I get my own settlement, I think what I'm going to do is build a sieging army and then like an open field army. The kind of army I have right now would be the open field army and then I would get a bunch of infantry. I could just re recruit a bunch of like Nords or something and go attack uh, castles. Because like once I get a settlement, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swap the armies, right? Like I'll build a sieging army and put it in my castle, and then when I go siege, I'll take them out and then swap uh, my horse archers and put them in there. It's just gonna be a perfect combo. But of course, in the meantime, we need to find some enemy lords. There is an army of 650 up there. Let's try to keep our distance over there. Maybe we can run down some enemy lords before they link up with this army. That would actually be pretty helpful for our faction. Well, dang, man. I can't find anybody in this forest. Really? No enemy lords? Well, to make things a bit more interesting, I'm going to join this army over here. And help them uh, take this castle. 
I'm not a huge fan of joining armies, but it will help my, uh, my influence. And hopefully we can give this army the edge in terms of uh, conquering this cas castle. I would love to take this castle for my own. Honestly, any settlement at this point. Oh, and let's not forget, we need to switch my weapon out um, with, a, with a melee weapon here instead of a heavy uh, lance. So I can actually do some close combat. Oh no! Are, you're not really... You're not gonna really... We're engaging here? Guys, let's see, what do they got? They've got 16 horse archers, 20, 268 infantry, 182 cav, and 184 range. We have 71 cav, 72 range, 72 infantry, and 202 horse archers. I don't know, guy. I'm going to leave this army. Yeah, don't fight. Okay. Uh, that's not my problem. <laughs> that's not my problem, Matt. Oh, look. It's a mercenary. Let's go deal with this guy. It's a it's a coup gate. A coup gate. <laughs> a coup gate mercenary. So I completely expect to deal with a lot of cav, and sure enough, there's a lot of cav. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, dang it. I forgot my stupid lance because we're not sieging. Oh, this is going to be a pretty nasty force of enemies. Let's see how good this club is. Oh, pretty good. 69 damage. Nice. <laughs> yeah, sit down and shut up. Whoa. Oh, man, this club is really good. It just, I gotta be careful and I gotta be fighting enemies as long as they're not charging me like that. There we go. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Horse archers are doing work. It's so nice. They, they just kind of do their own thing, run around, get some kills. Let's go, let's, let's go kill the enemy horse archers though because they can, they, they could be a big problem. They will be a big problem. Nice. Here's some archers. Let's take care of them. Oh, 98 damage, and the dude is going to live the tail to tail. Oh, whoa, there he is. We did one damage to him, and he killed him. Oh, heck yeah. This, is, this has been a great battle. Absolutely wiped them out. Victory is ours. We lost 15 men, though. Wow, that's kind of a lot. All right, you're free to go. We got a lot of horse archers in here. You know what? I'm going to take all these prisoners, and I'm probably going to keep all the horse archers in here and get rid of the rest. Also, of course, let's not forget to level up our army. And we got some nice loot here as well. All right, good battle right there, but we did take some casualties, and we did just lose a giant battle. It just took a lot of us prisoners. So we're not starting this war very well, so... It's going to be up to us to try to turn it around. Well, we found another uh, mercenary party over here. It's, what are they called? The Lam Lamarck, Lamarck of the Brotherhood Party. We'll go ahead and catch up with them. They only have 39 in there. Yeah, they're, they're going to be absolutely trashed. So they've got five horses on each side. And once again, I forgot to add my lance back, back into uh, my inventory or back into my personal inventory, I suppose I should say. Uh, but let's just focus down the enemy horses first, and my army should do the wor the, the, the worst. My army should do the rest, is what I was trying to say. Ugh, eat club! Eat club penguin! Yeah, and we're absolutely smoking them, guys. I do enjoy killing archers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Got the cataphrac. Oh, poor imperial! This poor imperial recruit. You know he, he's like, I got him. I see, I see their leader. I'm gonna go get him. All right, good victory, easy victory, a much needed victory. And I'm gonna go ahead and let him go free. Hey, we gained a level. Unfortunately, we can't take all these prisoners, so I'll just take what I can. And of course, let's not forget to level up the troops. And we're doing great, guys. We got a lot of loot. Now, we do have an army moving up to siege a castle. Uh, I'll go ahead and join the ranks and just see where it goes. Hopefully, this is strong enough to take a castle. I mean, 400 men is really not that much. Hopefully, more lords join this army. Let's not have a repeat of what happened earlier <laughs> with a random empire army showing up. And Oh, there's only 184 defenders in here. 
All right, here we go. Siege underway. All we have is a ram, but that's all we need. Let's go. Man, this is actually a really cool settlement. Holy crap. Okay, this is... Okay, let me find a good spot to kind of post up and shoot from. This is a cool map. Is this a new siege map? This is really cool. I don't really have much cover here, but thankfully the archers aren't even paying attention to me, so I can get some easy headshots. And we are honestly just melting down these forces. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Sometimes just sitting back and using your bow, like uh, like the army, just sitting back and using their bows can be really effective. Yeah, get off of the siege equipment. <laughs> oh, man. I keep doing my part from afar. Ooh, someone saved my life there. Oh, that guy's dead. All right, I guess we'll charge up now. Hey, man, how's it going? I hate Mondays, too. Mondays. <laughs> All right, victory. Fairly easy victory. I killed eight of them. Oh, this is cool. So now we're attacking the uh, the keep. I guess we'll send in these Kuzade Ar- Do I have Kuzade Archers? Okay. Oh, this is our entire- f This is the entire force. This is new to me. This is pretty cool. But we're just- I'm gonna send in just weak troops. I kind of liked it when, like, the entire army would charge in and just wreck them in the- in the, uh, the keep. Charge, my peasant army, charge! Look at they're already dying. Come here. Sorry, these these defenders aren't that tough. Keep pushing, men. This is really cool. I, they did a good job with the sound design here. I love the hearing the echoes. <laughs> This is my room now. <gasps> right, so we could actually go and grab these troops and put them in our army. Um, let's take all this loot. Um, now, here's the key. We got to get this castle. All right, this is the epic moment. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna enter the settlement. Um, I will, I'll donate some troops. How about that? That's a good idea. We'll donate the uh, spear militia. Uh, these archer militia. Let's just donate all the militia. They attack. Hey, this is my. These are gonna be my villages. Get away. Get away. Hey, get out of here. Oh, here's the vote. Here's the vote. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that influence on there. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We have take. We got our first settlement, guys. Yes. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to recruit anything and everything. Um, all Imperial troops, I'm gonna put in the castle for now. And again, remember, I'm gonna build myself a sieging force. I'm gonna build myself a sieging army. So that's gonna be more infantry focused. Okay, and then let's go drop them off at the castle, guys. And unfortunately, we are, that's right, we are out of time. Let's man it. Whoa. Wait a second. This is the garrison? <laughs> Dude, the other the other guys donated troops. And we have a bunch of horse archers in here. That's really sweet. We can have 283 soldiers in here. But we'll manage the castle and we'll put um, how much money do we have? We'll put we'll put ten thousand in reserve in here. And yeah, just keep building it up, improving it. And that's pretty sweet, guys. That's pretty sweet. Let's go to the Lord's Hall because we're going to end this episode the right way. Ah, it was like meant to be, man. Look at that. The chicken has has risen. Let's go ahead and sit down in the chair. Alongus Dongus. It's been a... He's, he's, uh, he's come a long way. He's come a long way. All right, guys. That's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This was a lot of fun, and I will see you soon in the next one.